Attach main rigging to vehicle. Form object removal. Sky clear of traffic. Ground video go. Mission control go. JP go. System is go for launch. Launch on command. The adventure starts in California with a five-hour drive to the Nevada desert. After a trip through the snow, the JP Aerospace team arrived at the launch site after nightfall. The next morning, after a quick team meeting, we were back out on the desert getting ready to fly. There were Pong sats from all over the world. They were really amazing. The Pong shots showed great art and great science. The Pong sats are carried on the deck, in boxes, and down below in a big bag. Now the ones in the bag are fun because they end up floating in microgravity on the way down. Do you see your Pong sat? Spacemen in action! Lots of folks donated through Kickstarter to make this mission possible. You'll see some of their names during the flight. The balloons are launched out of giant bags with a huge Velcro zipper on top. On this mission, we flew the vehicle in pairs. The pairs tend to fly together and then land within a few miles of each other and this makes getting them back a lot easier. That clicking you hear is the shutter of a still camera rapidly firing away. Here's the launch in slow motion from a different angle. We videoed the launches from lots of angles for analysis. Forward. It's away! <laughs> All right. Great. Now for the next pair. It takes about 40 minutes to reset the balloon bags and fill another pair of balloons. The others. <laughs> yeah, it's really tough. It's hard. Okay, you see the end of the rigging? Yep. Okay, well, let's sit here and I'll... Ready? Go! 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 That actually touched after launch.
Now the last two okay, of the six control. balloons are getting ready to go. Sounds good. Well, right now. <laughs> <laughs> we have a long line. Oh, hard there, uh, here. Yeah. Well, then that's going to make this fun, isn't it? That's close. On the right are two mini cubes, and on the left is a Pong sat with a GPS on board. Now the last two got a little too close for comfort, in fact touching a couple of times. So on this next pair, we decided to launch one, wait a few seconds, and then launch the other one, just to give them a little more breathing room. From now through the rest of the video, the view will be as if you were riding on the balloon yourself. Ready? Go! 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 Okay, back, back, up. Okay. Back, back, forward. Yeah, it's pretty windy though. Ready? Go, go, go! Back up, back up, back up, back up. Good, good. Hold it there, hold. Forward, forward, forward. That's getting just a little too close. It 
It takes about 100 minutes for the balloon to climb from the ground all the way to peak altitude, around 100,000 feet. There's the companion balloon, just a few feet above. There's a beautiful view of the Black Rock Desert up in northern Nevada. Here we are at about 20,000 feet. The balloons are still pretty close to each other. They'll slowly drift out and get about a mile apart before reaching peak altitude. That little dot you see near the top of the screen is the other balloon, and it's climbing just a little bit faster than this one. Now we're at about 60,000 feet. We're a little bit over halfway in our journey. This is the coldest part of our flight. It's 82 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, right here.
The companion balloon is still there, just to the left of the sign. It's right about the same altitude, but about a mile away now. This companion balloon is a little closer than the others. This one's only about a half a mile away. And again, it's right at the same altitude as the balloon that we're seeing it from. The Pongsats have all now reached the edge of space. The highest balloon of the day reached 106,509 feet above the ground. That's over 20 miles straight up. The balloon gets bigger and bigger as the vehicle climbs until it finally bursts. Watch the companion balloon as it moves into the center of the screen. Pop! There it goes. Now a little closer and in slow motion. Again, there's the burst and it leaves the remnants of the balloon up there for just a moment and you can see the pieces of rubber from the balloon now starting to fall away. Now that one popped a little early. The rest of them climbed for just a few more moments to get a little more altitude before they also um, burst their balloons and start heading back toward the earth. Wow, now let's take a look at that in slow motion.
After burst, the fins right the vehicle for its 25-minute journey down to the ground. parachute deploys at about 60,000 feet. In this video you can tell when the parachute comes out because the vehicle suddenly gets a lot calmer. Right about there. Two days of driving and hiking, but all the vehicles were recovered safe and sound. Until next time, keep flying!